right, so here's our uh, third different type of transformation. We've already talked about reflections, and we've talked about translations. So now let's talk about what is a rotation. So a rotation is taking the shape, right, centered at a specific point. We're going to kind of like draw a circle uh, centered at a specific point, and we're going to take the, the entire shape, and we're going to have it travel around that circle and rotate, right? So the, uh, to figure out how we want it to rotate, we have to uh, de uh, define what's called a center of rotation. The center of rotation is the point that is the center of that big circle that we're going to transform around, okay? So the nice thing about transfer or rotations is that the size will not change. Right? It's still going to be the same shape, okay? Still going to be the same size, but we are going to change its orientation when we travel around that circle, okay? So rotations, okay, we're going to assume for our purposes that us, the cent that when we rotate, we're rotating in a counterclockwise direction, which if you're unsure, okay, if we look at a clock, okay, a clock travels around like this, around in a circle, so we call this one clockwise. So counterclockwise is going to travel the opposite direction. If you want to think about it, we can't really do left and right with circles, but it kind of looks like it's traveling to the left as we go around. Okay, So when we're talking about a 90 degree rotation, we're going to assume that we're traveling 90 degrees, but we're traveling counterclockwise. We're traveling to the left, right? So 90 degrees is going to be a quarter turn around a circle, okay? And we use this notation R90, okay? And then we can do the same thing for 180 degrees. That's exactly a half a turn around a circle, and we're going to call that R180. And a 270 degree turn is three quarters of a turn around a circle and we call that R270. And so again, all of these are moving to the left. Okay, So for each of these, as long as we're centered at the origin, okay, as long as the center of rotation is the origin, we can use very simple rules. Okay, uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise is going to be, we're going to take our original points and we're going to transform them using this rule. So it looks like my original Y value switches signs Okay, and then the places of X and Y also switch. So it's actually a change in sign and then a switch of these two values. 180 degrees is just switch both of the signs. So positive X and positive Y become negative X and negative Y. And you'll see that if it's already negative, we just switch it back to positive. And then 270 is very similar to 90. We're still switching the X and the Y, but now the original X switches signs instead of the original Y. If you notice, the only difference between these is where that negative sign's located, okay? And so we always assume counterclockwise, and I have a little note down here that if they ever ask for clockwise, we already know rules for those. We don't need additional rules for traveling to the right, because if I go one quarter of a turn around, a, or if I have a, kind of have a circle, okay, and I start up here, and I travel one quarter of a turn, I'm just going to go one quarter of the way around and end up over here. That would be like traveling 90 degrees counterclockwise. Well, if I travel 270 degrees around uh, going clockwise, I'm actually going to end up at the exact same spot, because here's a quarter turn, a half a turn, and there's three quarters of a turn, and I end up at the same spot. So 270 degrees clockwise is the same as 90 degrees counterclockwise. So if you're ever asked to do a 90 degree uh, clockwise turn, it's the same as 270 degrees, but the other way. Right? So we can apply these rules just backwards. 180 is still 180 because half to the left and half to the right doesn't change. Okay? So let's do a very simple uh rotation. We're gonna, not going to do all three of these. Let's focus just on a 90 degree change, right? So we'll just do the first one, right? And I'll let you try out the other ones. We're just going to do 90 degrees around the origin. So my origin points right here, okay? So if you take a look at what my rule says, well, let's grab my points first. I'm going to take A. A, it looks like, is 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, okay? And negative 1. B is negative 3 to the left, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up 5, and C is negative 1, and then up 3, negative 1, 3, okay? So if you take a look at what my rule says, if we're going to do a 90 degree rotation around the origin, right, my rule says for 90 degrees to change the sign of Y and then switch the spots of my points, right? So I'm going to change the sign of Y, which would make this positive 1, and then I'm going to switch their spots. So A prime would become positive 1, negative 4. B prime would become switch the sign, which would make this negative 5, okay? And then I'm going to switch that uh, and put the x in the y spot, negative 3. If I switch the sign for c, it becomes negative 3, 
So I'm going to get negative 3, negative 1. So if I graph each of these points, these new ones, 1, and then down 4, I would put it right here, that's A, okay? And then B would be negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then down 3, okay? That would be B, okay? And then C would be negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and then down 1, that would be right here, okay? And then if I connect those together, I get a rotation of 90 degrees around the origin. And if you want to see what that looks like, if you want to see if we got this, right, if I take my a whole graph here and I just rotate it night one quarter turn in the counterclockwise direction, I exactly hit the tri the new triangle that I just drew. And so you can kind of use that with your paper in the same way. If you put your finger right on the origin and you rotate one quarter turn, you can kind of get an idea of where your graph should end up. If I did two turns, there's another quarter turn, that would be 180 degrees, and that's where my points would end up. And if I do three turns, okay, that would be 270 degrees. And then if I wanted to get back to where I started, I'll do four turns, right, and I end up back where I started. So those are the correct points, and I know that because I rotated my entire graph one quarter turn around, and I ended up on my image exactly.